India here in New Delhi. Good morning everyone and welcome along to the JN Sports Complex for the penultimate day of competition. The triples are over, the pairs are over and now it's uh, concentration on the singles both men and ladies. We're set for a very very good match here between New Zealand and England. A balmy morning here in New Delhi. Uh, the, the Clouds have cleared, if there were any clouds before, but uh, still very, very warm conditions and uh, it certainly will heat up. Probably our uh, coolest morning, and it's still 23 degrees and it's uh, just before 9 o'clock in the morning here in New Delhi. The humidity has uh, risen quite markedly from last night, it's up to 73%, but the wind speed negligible at 0.7 from the west. As I mentioned, uh, men's singles and ladies' singles, the order of the day here on uh, the second last day of competition. This is the JN Sports Complex Bowls Centre. Uh, four greens and uh, just some magnificent surfaces. Our program today, a shortened program, there will be no play this evening. This morning we're going to have a singles England and England. That will be followed by a women's singles group B match between and following that is a women's singles group A match between Malaysia featuring the defending gold medalist and Canada. People in here as has been the order of the day for uh, every day that we've been here. New Zealand to play England. This conjures up some uh, salivating thoughts as we go today and it is a top of the table group B. The players completed their warm-up and we're about to get underway and it's going to be Sam Tolchard from England who is going to get us underway. A couple of the um, England supporters here uh, huddling under the uh, one tree that provides a little bit of light relief as far as shade is concerned. There's Sam Tolchard, a fine young player. In the competition so far, he's played six rounds, he's won five, lost one. He's on 10 points on top of the table. He has a plus 61 shot differential. His opponent today is undefeated in the competition in second place, but he's only played five games. He's also on 10 points, played five, won five, and he has a plus 42 shot differential. A uh, very important game for both of these players. The top three in each section will go through to the semi-finals and the semi-final playoffs. The top player will go straight through to the semi-final, and um, two players that finish second and third will go to the semi-final playoffs, effectively the quarter-finals. We have two coaches uh, on the deck, and there is Dave Edwards from New Zealand, and he will sit alongside Ali Forsyth as uh, the team manager here today and coach. And for England, we have Tommy Armstrong just on the right there, and he will guide Sam Tolchard through this particular match. But we're just waiting for the Hooter to get us underway. So far, Sam Tolchard has had a win over Robert Wheel, and that was a very big uh, win because uh, Robert Wheel won the silver medal at the Commonwealth Games in Melbourne uh, to Australia's Kilvin Kirko. He had a uh, win over Reeve from Jersey. He uh, dropped or he against Malta, and that's uh, Parnas, and he is a very good player from Malta. Uh, then had a two straight sets win over the player from Newey, which was Lagutelli, and all. Brunei, Ampuan, Kasim. So we're about to get underway. There's the bowls of Sam Tolchard. So the jack just been spotted, so we're here we go. The first play of the day from Sam Tolchard. Should be a fairly quick game, that kite, the bird just uh, flew down, trying to feast on the insects that were left over from last night. Ali Forsyth, a Molly Duker, or left-hander, there are the kites. Lives in Sydney, at, in Sylvania waters, a Sydney suburb. World Bowls bronze in singles and gold in the team trophy is his best performances. New Zealand singles winner 2002 and 3 and 3 and 4. Sam Tolchard from Torquay in England. He's still a student. 
21 years of age. So players a little bit uh, play yesterday in this first inning, just uh, warming up. A heavy uh, program for uh, Ali Forsyth today. He's got three matches. He plays this match against Sam Tolchard. Then he plays uh, Pitter from the Cook Islands, and then uh, Riv from Jersey. Ali Forsyth, always a, a specialist singles player. And he's just a little bit short there, so fairly close for this uh, opening shot. Now we have a play, and that's Trevor Davis. There he is, just on the uh, left-hand side. He's from the George Bowling Club in South Africa. And he'll play a pretty important part in the game today for the players. Yeah, just coming up a little bit short, Sam Tolchard. It's very close for that first shot, so Ali Forsyth has a uh, real chance here. Young Sam not terribly happy with himself with that particular ball. He's possibly holding shot there with the the top of the jack, the top of your screen. Very bright conditions here this morning. But there's a, a little breeze that's just picked up a little bit. And uh, it's very, very pleasant at the moment. Having to draw the shot, win this first end. And I think he's a little bit short across the wick. He might get a wick here. Well, he's just promoted Sam Tolchard's bowl, and that will be one. The players actually come to the head and uh, decide. The market doesn't decide who or whatever. And uh, that's a opening shot to Sam Tolchard of England in the opening end. And as we've seen uh, for most of the tournament, uh, one team happens to win the end. They often give the mat away, so to speak. And uh, Sam Tolchard has done that to Ali Forsyth. Won the Asia Pacific singles in 2009. He was just absolutely on fire in that particular tournament. No other player was able to get anywhere near him. Good ball, but just a little bit short. Got a little bit of pace on it. Uh, Ali Forsyth, he's just uh, moved inside Sam Tolchard, and that shot. Here it is, just coming in, gets a wick off uh, his own bowl, cannons into Sam Tolchard's bowl and rest the shot. He's 
uncles Roger and Jeff played professional cricket for Leicestershire. Probably just hear there that uh, Ali Forsyth has asked um, the marker Trevor Davis where his shot they can give indicative uh, summation of what they see. And he, that so, stage, he said just one one bowl shy of the jack, and then another good uh, drawing shot from Ali Forsyth could be second. And the players are able to come the head after their third bowl. It's just hanging out a bit wide. It's doing its best work late, but just slipping through. Bowl singles bronze in 2008 and the London Trophy winner. Trophy in 2008. He's just coming around just in case that uh, also have a little bit of a uh, dip at this, just to match that uh, back bowl of Tolchards. having a drive at it. And missed the lot. That should be a couple to Ali Forsyth. That is. And the big Kiwi bounces back with some good draw bowling in that second end. Trevor Davis breaks into a jog and New Zealand lead 2-1. Have you got flybys? Yeah. This October, the more you shop and collect flybys points, the more chances you have to win. There are four awesome grabs valued at over 20,000 points each. Because if you're not getting flybys, you're just spending money. Two, one, go! <laughs> Robert Wool from Wales is currently in third position in this section B. He's had a couple of losses. As I mentioned, won the silver medal in Melbourne, beaten by Kelvin Kirkar of Australia in the final. So it's a big day for him as well. He's only got two matches today. Ali Forsyth just drifting across the base. Just hasn't quite got his grass right at this stage from this end.
Forsyth. Sam Tolchard has already bowled his. Now it's got to do some work now. It's just coming in and draws the shot, but it's still wide open. Got a hurry. It's tracking okay. But still room there for Ali Forsyth. A better bowl from Sam Tolchard, who's just taking a little time to settle down this morning. chance here for Ali Forsyth to draw the shot. He's got to get under the ball or just past the ball of Sam Tolchard and that's a beautiful ball from the big man from New Zealand and I think he'll take one out of that or oh, possibly two there. No, just the one. I've settled for the one and uh, Ali Forsyth opening up a little mini gap here Score 3-1. We just saw uh, Trevor Davis jogging down the uh, the rink. We had a game yesterday where the players were playing that quickly and they were bowling the jack at the completion of the end and actually passed the marker heading up to the other end and uh, all of a sudden the marker had to uh, break into a well, you wouldn't have called it a sprint from uh, Andy Ewans because he had to get up the other end and pick up the mat before the jack arrived. So the whole match was over in 58 minutes. That's a uh, very good bowl from the youngster, the 21-year-old. Good reply from Ali Forsyth. Will it just roll over? No, it just passes the jack. Forsyth just starting to find his range. Good bowl again from Ali Forsyth, holding a couple. Just really starting to get his range now, putting young Sam Tolchard under plenty of pressure. <coughs> just slips through. He was just trying to play his bowl on to those two bowls of Ali Forsyth. Just trying to draw another one into the head. This time he'd love dearly to be able to rest it just on the, the jack in front of those two. He's going to be a little bit short. Just won't take that extra couple of rolls. Now Tolchard has the best back wood. Plenty of insects, a big grasshopper type thing. Looked like a throwback from Jurassic Park. Just lobbed on the desk.
But I think he's overcooked there. Well, he's just uh, it's making a move now. He's just going to nudge uh, one. He's taken one out. That wasn't a bad bowl, but Ali Forsyth now has a chance to be able to put one back into that head. Just uh, cutting across the face again. I think he's going to have to settle for the, the one shot here. Just doing a little bit of work at the end, but it was always narrow. And uh, they... That it is one to New Zealand. There he is, Trevor Davis, from the George Bowling Club in South Africa. Now, you ask where is George, as we have a look at the score. 4-1 and to New Zealand. George uh, Bowling Club is just north of Cape Town. How do I know that? I asked Trevor before the match started. They oh, say it's a pretty nice part of the world. Sam Tolchard finds himself three shots down early in this match, but that's a better bowl from the young bloke. Very good bowl. not happy with that one it's just uh, it's, it's rolling on a little bit it's probably done a little bit more than he first expected but he's feeling a little bit of pressure here at the moment that and it's only early days but this bloke he will just uh, keep piling the pressure on got to get around that blue bowl but he's uh, also got around his own just uh, mixing his uh, pace at the moment it's just not quite settling for him he's just um, asking where the second shot lies and how far short of the jacket was Well, he's got a bit of a lucky wick, takes one out, and that probably uh, will confirm that it's one to red. Both players have one left. This is floor manager, one of our hard-working Arjun. Give us a wave, Arjun. Give us a wave. There he is. Looks as though he should be in Bollywood, but here he is in Bollywood. He's done a great job too. He hasn't shouted yet though. And he's really upset with that. You can see that was way, way short. I think Sam Tolchard is uh, suffering a little bit from nerves here. He's leading the group. He's only 21 years of age, so it is expected.
Ali Forsyth trying to draw number two, and I just think he's just overcooked this a little bit too, and I think they'll settle for the one. So he's doing it in singles at the moment, but he's now got a four-shot lead after five ends of this men's singles. It's a top clash in section B of the men's singles, New Zealand lead by four. Just holding on, just going to get in troll charge bowls. Now, Arjun is not just a floor manager, he's a fountain of knowledge. India, in actual fact, has their own version of bowls called Kancha. Kancha means marble. Now, in this game, a, a lot of small marbles are flicked towards a big marble, and the team with the closest marbles win. They've got their own form of lawn bowls. Thank you, Arjun. New Zealand holding one. just slipping through, he's just varying his pace so much, he just can't get a line that's really suiting him at the moment. He's just trying things, and Ali Forsyth is just really a fair bit of pressure. The players will tell you that, you know, one day they can bowl like absolute geniuses and then it takes them a while. Here's another good bowl from Ali Forsyth, a beautiful bowl from the big Kiwi. And gives a little bit of a fist pump too. Here it is, just coming in, slides in, magnificent weight, great grass, just rolls over. The sights and sounds and some of our spectators in here today. It's nice to see so many young ones coming to the Lawn Bowls program. Now Sam Tolchard is forced to go with a little bit of weight. He's not too far away. And he's taken one out. He's taken the right one out. And I think you'll find Sam Tolchard has shot one, maybe two. And let's have a look at it. Good on shot. He didn't go at it flat out. Just flicked off his own. And did enough to disturb the jack. Well... Lux of Fortune, and you can see the three red bowls surrounding it. Ali Forsyth now. That's it. Well, he might have uh, more than one. He might have three. On the backhand. Trying to draw the shot. Working in now, but has it run out of legs? It's run out of legs, but still might be, it might be a measure. In actual fact, he's run to England, and that was a good play there from Sam Tolchard. Ali Forsyth was all over the jack, and then a good from Sam Tolchard. That'll give the young man a little bit of confidence, but three with three ends to play in the first set.
Charlie Forsyth, forced to go first and that one's a little bit short. And there's that bow on this ring and it's ended up being a beautiful bowl from the Sam, Tol Sam Tolchard. There's the uh, England fans, well wow, they're, they're dancing in the aisles. But that bowl from Sam Tolchard straightened for two or three rolls and then broke again. There was, seems to be a little bit of a ridge on this particular green that uh, can do some strange things from time to time. And another good bowl. Two at the head, that's brilliant bowls. Yeah, he just needs to spring that Jack Alley Forsyth. Couldn't do it. He's going to run out of legs. He's urging it on, but it's not going to do it. But he holds one, you would think, at the moment. So Ali Forsyth just asking him how far from the jack. Guards bowl. He's just going to try and draw onto it. And that's going to have to ha hold its line. It, it is a little bit, but that's going to And ever so slowly. Although he's got one bowl to come. Maybe I'll make this two. The kites are circling. I think he's done it. I think he's drawn the second shot. Just short again. I think they might settle for one. They might have a measure here. For it. So here he is, Trevor Davis, putting in the big yards, and two shots the difference. New Zealand lead five three. Ali Forsyth from New Zealand, Sylvania Waters in Sydney is where he resides. John Bell just going out of shot there, the England manager. So England winning the last two ends, and Ali Forsyth gets very close with his first bowl. And what a brilliant reply from Tolchard. He's got his confidence back. Forsyth to the backhand, wanting to tip that bowl out. Yeah, a little bit too much pace, but he won't mind that one actually slipping through if he needs to play a shot with a bit of weight.
but he's on the money again. Another touch at two bowls, two touches. Beautiful bowling. And Ali Forsyth not mucking around. He's after him and he's missed a lot. Now Sam has actually asked the uh, marker whether he can come up and have a look. So Ali Forsyth taking the opportunity to come up as well. Triples and pairs campaigns have been completed. Many players looking forward to the closing ceremony, but many looking forward to getting on uh, some long haul flights and heading to the Southern Hemisphere and back to uh, England and South Africa. Talk is whether they can get on the plane. A lot of them missed it on the way up. Uh, the a lot of them are desperate to see the movie Take Me to the Greek, which they say is fantastic. He's got... <laughs> One for a little bit of insurance here for uh, Sam Todd. Now, Ali Forsyth had a drive to try to upset the head before. This is his last bowl. And Tolchard holding two. He's up. Now he just needs to play on, he's missed it. Slam bowl back, which really opens it up for Tolchard now to draw in a third shot and actually take the lead in this first set. there it will and that's three shots three shots for Sam Tolchard so after being four shots down he actually takes the lead in he now leads to five Toyota Hilux worth over $58,000. Don't spend care. Inquire about buying a garage, farm shed, or commercial building and be in to win Total Span's Toyota Hilux. Who can Total Span? Four ends. Pressure's been reversed a little bit here, but that's a very good opening bowl from so I think he would have wanted that just to, to die on its run on the jack, but ran through a little bit. I don't know where Sam was going with this one. Jimmy Jib operator um, having a little comfort stop himself so there he is <laughs> Rob 
is suffering from serious heat stroke, but you wouldn't be able to tell from that shot. You can tell you we've been here for a while. And this is a uh, very good bowl from Sam Tolchard, just slipping through. Close to the count, but you'd probably think Ali Forsyth may have the shot. He's just the marker. He indicates. And he just asked where Sam Tolchard's bowl was, and that's one bowl behind the jack. Yeah, just a little bit short again. Yeah, that's way short. Now, trying to get inside now to rest the shot off Ali Forsyth. He doesn't want to pick up the jack and promote it over to the Australian Bowls, but he's able to off and trail it through, and I think you'll find that will be shot at the moment. Both players, Richard Gervin, the skipper of the triples, on shot there from New Zealand. There it is, just trailing through, but it does open the door slightly. Both players, one shot remaining. That's what he's looking at. The task at hand. Cut across, all he can hope for here is a wick. It's just nosed it out, but I, you know, maybe a measure, but that might be the best he can hope for there. Very, very tight. Sam Tolchard having a real good look now. There's no cover for him at the back. He's probably just got to try and draw the shot, but he's he's indicated that um, Ali Forsyth is probably holding shot at the moment. He's coming back to the head to have another look. He only leads by one shot, and this is the last bowl of the end. Gee, that's close. Ali Forsyth having a look at it. Sam Tolchard has a chance to win this first set if Ali Forsyth is holding his shot and Sam Tolchard can't get this one in the count then it will be a drawn first set. Now he's gone with a little bit of weight. He's trying to take the jack and his bowl and he's going to get it. Now that's in the ditch. You would probably think that this will be a measure Ali Forsyth's going to have a, have a long reach here. Wingspan of one of our kites. <laughs> Sam Tolchard gets the shot. And will win the first set. What a magnificent last four wins for the youngster. And he wins the first set 7-5 after being down 5-1. Two players having a chat, and he sent Ali Forsyth in the bat again. And gee, that's a good comeback. He won the first set, uh, first end toll chart. 
then Forsyth won the next four and Tolchard then wrapped up the first set with a one on the sixth, one on the seventh, three on the eighth and one on the ninth. And Ali Forsyth has left that way short. 43 minutes, that first set. And he really has started to find his range. He was at sixes and sevens early, but have a look at this, another good bowl from Tolchard. And Forsyth is the one now starting to struggle a bit. John Bell, the overall England manager. Been around for many, many years. Well, that's uh, not one of his better ones. He's just promoted Valley Forsyth's bowl up to shot bowl. I think he might have been distracted that time with uh, the kite that came in. He had a, a real look sideways just after he delivered that. And it might have been the shadow. And the shadow's quite long here in the early morning. This is a better bowl from Tolchak. Can he pick it up? No, and it's just slipped through. So Forsyth now will be absolutely desperate to get one close to the jack to try and not only draw the second shot, but to be able to uh, provide some, some cover. It's got to work. Has it got the pace to get up? He needs a wick off his own. He got it. That'll be two more. Definitely one, probably two, and yes, Trevor Davis signals that he thinks uh, Blue are holding two. But Tolchan has got that shot at the back. There is no cover from there. He can draw that off if he can pick up the jack and take it. Bowl, the bottom. He likes it, but I think it's going to be in the head. Now, unless he can take that one out, he's done it. He's taken the Alley Forsyth bowl out and stopped his own bowl dead, and I think you'll be find that will be one to England. Here's the replay. He just took the uh, Alley Forsyth bowl out. Brilliant bowling by the young man, and he opens the account in the second set. He's doing everything right at the moment, is Sam Tolchart. So Forsyth really needs to bounce back here. He has lost the last five ends. And it's been due to some marvellous play by this young man, Sam Tolchard, from Torquay in England. Just straightened up, held its line, draws the shot again. Brilliant bowling. It is, you see it again, it just straightened up for a couple of rolls. He 
he's not happy with himself that he wasn't up at the head. Still a reasonable bite. Tracking better this time. Can he tip the Sam Tolchard bowl out? He can. Takes it over to his own. It's a bit of a target as well. And Tolchard, I think you'll find, might line up with a bit of... He's missed this time. G's been good. On the drive, Forsyth now, he'll, if he's not at the head, he'll want to be just past. Each bowler has one remaining. Just going to try and go through the gap of the red bowl on his own blue bowl, which you can see there. He's just trying to draw it in there, either tip his own over or get through that gap. That's where he wanted to go to get into that head. Now toll chart again. Him on weight. He's just uh, taken one of the bowls out and that will be two to New Zealand. And after five ends of domination by England, New Zealand hit back and Ali Forsyth for a change can give the map to Sam Tolchard. New Zealand lead 2-1 in the second set. A very absorbing match this men's singles between England and New Zealand. England with the first set. And New Zealand with a one shot lead in the second after two ends. Excellent bowl again, which you probably would expect at this level. Oh, and Ali Forsyth responds. That is a magnificent bowl. Ali, uh, Sam Tolchart, only the one loss so far in the competition. That was in a tie break to. Ray Mascarenas of Botswana. Yeah, sure. Forsyth needs to duck under that, and it's just oh, just got a touch. It was tracking very well. But he's just been able to tip that out and might give him a little bit of a uh, area to be able to come through. A toll chart going to the back end. Trying to draw the shot off, shot off but he's just narrow and he's going to miss everything. No, he's, he's same shot before, and he's, he's put the uh, England bowl back where it was before, basically. And he'd be very disappointed with that. He'd, he'd open up the gap. He was tracking. 
the previous bolt, this one, he's taken a little bit more grass, and he's had a wry smile that he's left that out there and crashed into the England bowl. So now you've got uh, Sam Tolch. He's got one more, but Tolchard also has one more. He has a chance to be able to wrest the shot away from Ali Forsyth. He's coming back to the forehand. across the line. Now Forsyth has the chance to be able to draw that second shot. There it is, the, um, the shot and the, the area that Richard, uh, Ali Forsyth, those two bowls towards the top of your screen, the red bowl on the left, the blue bowl on the right, Forsyth will try and come between those to draw a second shot. Two here would be handy for the... It's got to work to get under his own bowl, it's not going to. Well he'd be disappointed with those three deliveries, just a shake of the head. And he'll have to settle for one. And as was the case in the first set, after three ends, Ali Forsyth leads 3-1. Now the flags of the nations competing here, 27 nations competing in the lawn of the 19th Commonwealth Games. I think they've really enjoyed the competition. South Africa dominating proceedings here at the moment. They won the men's triples, the, the women's triples, and the England winning the women's pairs. I think I might have just said the uh, piers then, but the piers. It's all gone pier shaped. Get there, will it get there? Yes, it will. That is a beautiful bowl from Sam Tolchart. Ali Forsyth will just try and draw that shot off. Forsyth has second shot. You want it to get past the head. Yeah, that's that's not too bad. But still, that wouldn't be that good in his uh, estimations. Well, that's made it a little bit tougher now. I think he might have a crack at this. With some pace. And he's got it. Well, no, he's taken his own out. Now, that is three shots sitting for England. Well, no, the blue bowl on the right of his screen uh, probably is there still as a counter, but it's close. He's just really wound up. Now, he can hardly see his own bowl. Somehow it gets the back of that bowl and takes his other bowl out as well. So not the drive that Ali Forsyth wanted. <laughs> Sam Tolcho will just try and put another one in the head now. Forsyth will have one more. He's the young man from England. That's hardly a challenge. Put it right on the money. Holding four. 
uh, England at the moment. No, he's going to go and have a look. He's undecided as to exactly uh, what he's thinking here. And I think the bowl that is closest to the jack provides cover for the jack. Now, Ali Forsyth's got those two blue bowls on the right of your screen. If the jack was sitting in the middle of those two bowls, then he would have the opportunity to be able to uh, squirt that across to those two blue bowls. But with the position of the jack in that front, uh, the bowl that's sitting closest to it, don't know whether he can get um, enough and, and disturb that bowl to be able to try and push that across to his own. Whether at this stage he may look to just limit the damage. You're always looking for the shot, but at this stage, England possibly holding four. And I... Here he is. He's just gonna try and draw it in. If he can rest between the bowls. He's looking at limiting the damage, but it's not too far away. He's going to pull up short now. That's a long way short too, I think. No, it's four. It's a big England, so a maximum counter for young Sam Tolchard. And Sammy has now got to a lead of 5-3. be a football match happening in England that John's having a listen to, although probably a little bit early in the morning over there for football, but might be the race tips for the day. And Forsyth under a bit of pressure here. Tolchard is applying that pressure. He's playing very well indeed after a shaky start. gets pretty animated. You know, Tolchard as well. And hasn't got the legs either. our local contingent in here today having a look at uh, the Lawn Bowls program. Second last day, only the singles matches to be completed and the gold, silver and bronze to be decided. Forsyth now just trying to get one around the back. More up to here. Yeah, no. Still a shot down. No, oh, I know he's get, uh, the marker has actually indicated that he thinks uh, Forsyth holds shot. Not much in it. trying to draw the shot. Now Ali Forsyth with the Bushman's way of taking a quick measure.
Forsyth, two shots down. Fifth in. It's going to have to hurry. And it's not going to. He'll be dreadfully disappointed with that. Just shakes his head. An opportunity to get uh, up there. And it still opens the door for Sam Tolchard. He's having a drive. We well, took that ball out. He wasn't aiming for the jack, he was just aiming for that bowl of Ali Forsyth. And a beautiful bowl by Sam Tolchard, and he picks up three. Forsyth, the first to bowl in their sixth end, and Sam Tolchard is just driving magnificently, mixing that with some delicate draw shots. He's got a four and a three on the last two ends. Ali Forsyth has no answer at the moment. That's well past. But the way this young man drives, if um, Ali Forsyth happens to get a couple around the head, that could come into play because he's been driving magnificently. Oh, great ball. Oh, he's just left it short. Looking at him in running without looking at our monitor. It looks as though it was going to be right on the jack. Well, that's the long and short of it. Get around. Yes, he can. Well, he's another one way down the back. So Ali Forsyth will just try and draw another one in. They'll both go up and have a look at the head. Forsyth would love to get through that gap or just to provide some cover. He's done it. He's got four. Tolchard has got one bowl to play. He's got a couple of choices. He, he can have a run at them, which I'm certainly will probably just try, or he can try and draw it on the backhand side to try and draw shot. He's got an option there. We'll try and limit the damage by getting one amongst those four. But I think you'll find our first summation will be the go. Stand by. He's taken something out. Well, he's got rid of two. That's a good bowl. Limiting the damage. And... Ali Forsyth will be very pleased to pick up a couple. And that's uh, his first shots since N3. We've now played six, but he gets a little bit closer. 
the tow chart in charge. Couldn't live more than three minutes from real coffee. I love those wide open spaces. In here as well as out there. It's hard to get to. Maybe why it's the best kept secret in town. Don't tell anyone. The all new Street Smart Mitsubishi ASX. Built for your city life. Love that car. The four and the three that Tolchad got on ends, four and five, the difference at the moment. Just sliding past. Better attempt. Yeah, it's just going to slide across the face as well. There's not much in it for shot. It's just straighten for a couple of rolls. He's going to pick up the jack, nod it over to his own. And now he holds two. Here it is. Yeah, lovely ball. Lovely ball, Sam Tolchard. Uh, Arjun. Arjun was moving. Don't move. And Ali Forsyth just uh, stopped there for a moment. Just uh, distracting his vision because I'm pretty certain he was having a look at driving here. He's winding up. There he goes. And he's taken one out. He was looking to take the jack. That is a touch out. Now that's in the ditch. And that will remain there. So Forsyth has played three. I'm told Chad should just draw in another shot. I just want to promote that one too much. That could be second shot. And that's what uh, Forsyth will be looking at. Now he's well, obviously England holding one at the moment. So they think the Kiwi bottle is the second shot, which is not about the jack. Big ball here for Forsyth. He's going to go with the big pass again. He's going to be wary of that ball on the jack. In the dip. More of a running up. Oh, he's jumped to the back. He was looking to take through to his own. Quick. 
quickly slipping away from Ali Forsyth. The bowls of Sam Tolchard. As you have a look at the score, he leads 9-5 in the second set. So two wins to play. Ali Forsyth needs five shots to be able to send it into a tiebreak. A draw's not good enough. A draw would give Tolchard the win. Very, very disappointed with that. At this stage of the game and the delicate situation the game is in, he needs to be right up at the head. If Sam Tolchard happens to win this end, uh, the game is effectively over, even though they will play the ninth then. But it's not impossible for Forsyth. In the men's pairs last night, South Africa needed six on the last end to win the game and they got them. An amazing result. Yeah, that's up there. That's one, possibly two. Tolchard has two bowls remaining. Very tight between the blue bowl of Ali Forsyth. Trevor Davis just indicating he thinks it's a measure. So both players having a look at this. Trevor Davis from the George Bowling Club in South Africa. He had to call for the water halfway through the first set. He'd done that much running up and down the rink. A big bowl this for Forsyth. He might be having a run at this. Just trying to get around the back and take the Tolchard bowl out. He can't do it. It just slips through. What a brave attempt. Out of there. That could have given him three shots. He just wanted to get onto that red bowl and knock it out. What a bold attempt. Now this bowl from Sam Tolchard can start the match. He 
He doesn't mind it. He doesn't mind it. Can it sit? It's close to shot. No, he's given it. Given it one in the blue, and that will be the match. But they will play the final end. Sam Tolchard from Torquay in England. Plays with the King's Bowling Club in Torquay. His father has been the, the biggest influence on his life. And he was the Bowls International Young Player of the Year in 2008. Ali Forsyth, after a uh, very good start, has been outplayed for most of the match by Sam Tolchard. Yeah, two at the back for Forsyth. Great ball, great ball again. Forsyth not mucking around. He just wants to get out of there. Well, he's taken one out, couldn't take the other one out, so he's not mucking around. He's got another two games today, Ali Forsyth. So they now become very, very important. Tolchard will kick two points clear, but he has only one more game today, so if both players win their remaining matches today, it is possible for Alec Forsyth to still be on the same points. The shots differential here won't help him. It's seven at the moment. He's just going for it. No, he's missed. And one bowl is remaining. He's not happy, Ali Forsyth, and, and probably rightly so. There was two ends uh, that uh, he conceded seven shots, um, but that was more to the good play from Sam Tolchard than Ali Forsyth being off the bolt. And there were probably three shots there, you would think, and I think that is uh, a good way to finish. Let's see if we can pick up as the players come up. Second hands. Advantage here to uh, Sam Tolcha. The uh, stakes uh, are playing. Let's see if we can uh, see what happened here. Well, before he bowled, I started having a jibber to the rink next door. Sam Chol Tolcha just looked at him and said, Mate, what's happening? I don't know whether it was to turn around and just shake hands. Maybe that's what he was looking for. But a very, very good win to the 21 over the New Zealander in Ali Forsyth in this men's singles competition. The final score, 13-5, or 7-5, There is... Uh, young Sam talking to the Kiwi manager in Dave Edwards. Uh, Dave would probably be just congratulating him on his form. So he has only dropped the one game, and that's um, Sam told you, uh, Ali Forsyth's first loss in the competition as well. So uh, I don't think there's been uh, that have gone through this Commonwealth Games that uh, haven't been beaten at some stage or. We're about to have a look at some of the highlights of this men's singles game. And this is one of the features of Tolchard's uh, match, although that one missed. It was one of the features of the match. He drove absolutely brilliantly and then got his act together on the drawing stakes. He's a very animated young man. 
and uh, with great concentration and uh, after uh, losing four ends on the trot in the first set he then settled down and drew some some wonderful shots that was shot on the sixth end then here is the big three on the eighth end and that was the first set done and dusted he just continued to keep the, uh, keep the pressure on um, Ali Forsyth, he kicked that one out, he got shots there. Forsyth bounced back with uh, a two that ended up being, and that was in the second end uh, of the uh, second set after uh, Tolchard had taken the first set, 7-5. And then he just kept putting the pressure on. At one stage here, uh, that ended up being a four, and also he took that one out there, and that ended up and that was in the fifth end, and that was the turning point of the game. In the fourth and fifth ends, when Tolchard, and this was a big moment, um, Forsyth had a chance there for a four, a shot down, but um, Tolchard went the drive, restricted it to two, and he was able to go on, and he grabbed a three on the last end to wrap up a very, very good win indeed. 7-5, 13-5 to Sam Tolchard in this men's singles match. Is the latest in television recording. When a program trailer plays, the corner of your screen, push the green button on your for your series is set to record in your planner. Record me, another great feature exclusive HDI. The Kia Sorento R will comfortably drive up to seven passengers in five-star safety from 49.99 costs. Sorento R, redefining the power of Kia. Kia. As a responsible broadcaster, Sky supports the codes of broadcasting practice. This guide is available to all and contains information and the formal complaints process. For a copy of the guide, write to the Broadcasting Standards Authority, PO Box 9213 Wellington, or phone them on 0800 366 You can also email Standards Authority at this address or visit their website. The moment we could communicate, we've looked for new ways to share information. Like mobile broadband. The internet on the go, now at half price for the first six months of your plan. Now that's new. Oh, s Can we make the cut? We can't stop it! We can't stop this The Four Nations starts October 23rd, live Sky Sport. And here comes Bradley Saunders of England. And England have dominated the light welterweight division at the Commonwealth Games in recent times. They've won gold in three of the past four games. James Russon in 2006, Darren Barker in 2002, and Peter Richardson in 1994. So can Bradley Saunders continue this incredible streak of domination in the 64 kilogram division? He's a fine fighter. He fought in Beijing in the Olympic Games for Great Britain. And he's going to take on the teenager Louis Collin of Mauritius who will fight out of the blue corner. How's this one going to pan out, Baz? I think Bradley Saunders is going to be too strong. He's um, the victory over Eve Ulysses from Canada who you know fought a bit like Sugar Ray Lennon really, really impressed me. Um, Louis Collin, also a you know very good fighter, had beat Australia's Luke Woods uh, in, in you know a pretty tough match. But um, this moment, Bradley Saunders, I just think he's going to prove a little bit too strong and too experienced here. 
The Saunders won 11 to 4 over Eve's Ulysses. Yeah, Louis Colleen won his quarter final in a shutout, six points to zero over the Jamaican Philip Bowes. So he comes in in good form, but as we see Ross Stubbley, the New Zealand referee, this is a massive step up for the teenager from Mauritius. Bradley Saunders, five years his senior, 24 years of age, he's been in the amateur game for a long time. Saunders in the red, Colin in the blue. About four of a ten fight card this evening. The remaining semi-finals to decide the gold medal matches in the 9th Commonwealth Games in Delhi, India. And Saunders has already picked up a point with that probing left. Yeah, I think Saunders is going to be just too good all round for um, Louis Collins from Mauritius here. Could be wrong, but uh, he's seriously impressed me so far in the competition. Like jab. Very tight defence. Boxing at the 64 kilogram limit. Nice left hook there from Saunders. Just too fast on that occasion, wasn't it? Yeah, that was a lovely hook. His opponent leaned away and he stepped in and turned the left hand over and landed a clean left hook with the knuckle part of the glove. You must score for our viewers with the knuckle part of the glove. I'm sure the Indian star Manoj Kumar would be sitting back in his... Still cooling down from his bout a few moments ago, but keeping a close eye on the monitor. Without doubt. And Bradley Saunders. He wouldn't have missed one thing that Bradley uh, in the competition. Knowing that, uh, you know, the, the chance that he would meet him in the final and it's, uh, is, you know, we're not there yet, but that's that's my tip. And as soon as the draw came out and it was noted that uh, the Indian and the Englishman were on different sides of the draw, and it was regarded as the most likely gold medal match. Fifty seconds remaining. degrees Celsius, humidity at 54%. The wind speed, well it was flat calm earlier on today, is just a little bit more breezy now, but nothing the action out on the rink. So the players just having their well, run-ups to get their eye in on the rink uh, seven here. Uh, lots of matches going on throughout the afternoon. The men's and women's singles competitions hotting up. Uh, here's what we've got for you. This is a Group A match, Northern Ireland against Canada. And then later on, Group A again with the Australian player Leif Selby uh, taking on the uh, very smart Malaysian player Safwan Sa An extremely good match. Two very good men's singles matches coming up on Rink 7 during the course of the next uh, five or six hours here. So stay with us, and this promises to be an absolute cracker between uh, these two players who have more than prospered in the early stages of this uh, competition. Northern Ireland represented by Gary Kelly, and Canada by Ryan Bester. And there is uh, Gary Kelly, currently tops the table in Group A, He's won six of his seven matches so far. He's top of the table on 12. And he's four points clear of his rival this afternoon, Ryan Bester, who, although now based in Australia, represents Canada, originally from Hanover, Ontario. Uh, Ryan has won four of his seven matches thus far, and he's fighting it out for second place 
in the table. Just at the moment on shot difference, he is in second place, but he's on the same points as a number of other points behind Gary Kelly so so far Gary Kelly has really dominated group A of this men's singles competition uh, this is going to be the eighth game they've played of nine so the sectional play will be completed during the course of the afternoon and then tomorrow we'll be building up semi-final stage uh, tomorrow morning and then building up to the grand final uh, tomorrow evening uh, Markel is marker is Daryl Rowley of Australia and uh, he'll be keeping a, an eye on the score uh, during the course of this match and it, it might be a match played at high speed because uh, uh, Ryan Best for one is the man that uh, likes to get on with things out there on the bowling green a lot of uh, interested observers here the Canadian team will have high hopes of Ryan Bester who was a, a bronze medalist in the last games and there he is and the siren has gone and that will signal very shortly the start of play here in what is a a key singles match something to look forward to it's all coming up. Pretty short, Jack, to uh, start uh, the match here and literally, literally set the ball rolling. In fact, uh, this morning on the um, this morning on uh, this uh, rink we had a, a couple of um, uh, jacks which were thrown down too short. It has to be a minimum of 23 metres and um, the jacks were returned. Ryan Bester playing with the red bowls. And Gary Kelly with the green bowls appropriately for Ireland.